the light's a bit dodgy for filming today but I'm going to try and do the best I can apologies if it does come in and out let's start with this table so this table here is from Habitat we love the bright whiteness that it brings to the room it also actually works as a really nice table divider so it's not table divider room divider if you like between the kitchen and the living room so um, it's just a really really nice piece it extends to 10 people which we'll be using, uh, using over Christmas um, but you know when it's just the two of us Nicholas and I we just keep it as a four person table kind of hard to keep clean so we tend to cover it um, like we had my sister over and the baby and things last week so we covered <laughs> covered it when um, the baby's over and um, we don't tend to use it just as it is we have some table mats and things like that to try and keep it as clean as possible because it does definitely pick up marks quite easily but just love the style of it so that's our living room <laughs> dining room table Moving on to this side of the room, this is my favourite piece in the room, it's this chair from Ikea, so it's like an armchair and I basically I'd say it's mine because when we went to Ikea I fell in love with it, I sat in it and I was like this is it, this is the chair, so um, yeah I really really love it and my dad was over last week as well and he basically claimed it as his, as his own papa chair, so <laughs> we have similar tastes, it's just a really nice design, I love the fact that it's so big at the top, I feel very, you know, in, all encompassed by it and if you've watched a few of my previous videos you'll see that I've started filming in this chair too. The um, cushion and cushion cover are also from Ikea and this lovely little throw here came with us from the other flat. I just love the texture on it, it's pulling a little bit um, but this was from H&M Home. here we've called him Alfie he is our plant and he's from Ikea and so is the little plant pot holder our um, TV cabinet is from Spoon Editions so um, this is something that I was considering for quite a while I just wanted something that was a little bit low so it didn't take up the whole of the wall but also did have some storage features in it and I think this was kind of like the perfect piece. So inside we've got quite a lot of our books. If I can, okay, this side is all the text stuff. So Nicholas has kind of nicely stored away our router and stuff like that. And then on this side we've got a lot of our books because we do have a lot of books. <laughs> so it's quite handy for those little bits and pieces that you need storage for. Um, these coasters came with us from the old flat, they're not new. They're from TK Maxx and I really like them and they actually fit really nicely with the um, kind of design of the living room and moving on to this vase here this is from where is this from this is from habitat yeah this is from habitat i really liked the color of it and the design and how big it was and then i just picked up these little reeds to go inside it which actually match the color of it and they're from wilkinson so that's the store we have here in the uk picked up three bunches two cream ones and one gray and then outside, oh now the sun's decided to shine, which is nice, it's been so measurable this whole morning. Um, this um, balcony furniture is from Ikea and then the little candle um, holder in the middle is from, where is that from? Hobbycraft, so we had these for our wedding and actually we kept all of them and uh, my sister got a couple, my mum got a couple, then we took the rest and when I take you through the rest of the house tour at some point you'll see these scattered around the house but these were from our wedding so that's kind of really handy for you know an evening glass of wine and a candle cute little date night idea <laughs> then over to the side of the living room so we have our lamp which is from made.com really like this i love the color of it i wanted a darker lamp but i didn't want something black in this area so this is absolutely perfect the gray and the wood um, really fits in nicely with the living room decor and then I love these side tables so they are from Swoon Editions as well and I love the way they fit into each other so it's the kind of thing you need when you're having like a coffee or you know some popcorn and you just want a little side table to balance things on absolutely perfect so they are both from Swoon Editions the um, sofa is from Ikea so this is one again one of my favorite pieces in the living room solely because it also holds a good amount of storage so in here, I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift this properly for you guys, I might have to do a cutaway, but in this sofa here, um, that's where 
the duvet, the spare pillows, all the bedding and stuff for the guests are because these two bits here are actually a sofa bed. So if you pull that out, that's a single sofa bed. And then if you pull out the other one, you can kick it in. <laughs> That's also a single sofa bed, so put them together and they become a double and then you've got two singles if need be. And what I also love about this sofa is that it's modular, so it's not sort of attached together, so we can actually just pull and push the seats where they need to be, which is really handy when you're making the sofa bed. And it's just a really nice, very flexible sofa. So this was from Ikea. All the cushions and the cushion covers are also from Ikea as is this throw so we've got a couple of these and I was actually chilling on the sofa earlier so that's why that's still there. The coffee table and the rug. So the rug is from West Elm and again I really love this because it picks up those mustard tones which we've got um, with the cushions in the living room and then the um, coffee table is also one of my favourite pieces and this is also from West Elm and um, it's just really hard to clean because obviously it's glass <laughs> so it takes a lot of um, cleaning but it's just a great feature piece and then this vase we've just recently got from my sister as one of our wedding presents and um, I'm gonna pop out later today and get some flowers for this so that's gonna live on the coffee table and that's from where is that from Oliver bonus yeah that's it so we kind of just use the coffee table as a place to store our magazine so this section is Nicholas the kind of political stuff and then the um, Euroman magazine, which he loves from Denmark. And then obviously me and my fashion bits on that side. moving on to this corner of the living room so this is where Nicholas keeps one of his guitars I allowed one to stay in the living room I didn't want the whole living room to be full of musical equipment so we've got one in here and the rest are in the spare room slash studio so this is one in here which is nice for him to kind of come in and get inspired you know because the, the light really comes nicely through that big window so you know you can kind of feel very at peace here and just feel like you want to you know write a song or just play so it's nice for him to have a guitar in here and then this stand here this was a bookshelf it is a bookshelf and that came with us from the old flat but i felt that it fitted really nicely with this new decor so that's just my laptop charging <laughs> um underneath there that's an empty plant pot because i need to get another plant for here i kind of wanted a tallish plant at the side and then these bits as i was saying to you before this is another one of our um candle light holders from our wedding just some fake plants from ikea um, again these are from our wedding so we had these on all the centerpieces if i can try and find a picture to show you what the centerpieces look like i will and um some baby's breath which also featured in our wedding but i just love them so they're just really easy and expensive flowers to have in the house um and then this here so cute nicholas bought me this because he knows i like um sort of antique brass type of things so he just bought me this little candle holder and then these we've had in the other flat as well. So this little postcard here actually means quite a lot to me. So this card I bought myself when I quit my job about a year ago. Um, I was out of work for nine months. I just needed a break. <laughs> I was in a very difficult, stressful um, career and environment. So I bought this card on that last day and I always like to have it out so I can just remember when I'm starting to feel a bit, you know, um, uneasy, not confident doubting myself I can always just look at this card and remember how far I've come so I like to have that there and I probably will get a frame for it at some point again more flowers more milk bottles and then these are just a couple of cards from Finery London when I made some orders a year or so back they gave some postcards and I actually quite liked those and felt like I could frame them um in some photo frames and then again just the another fake plant pot from Ikea another one of these from my wedding and then this I think also was from I mean this is from cars so again some postcards came with an order I made so I will frame that at some point too probably in a white frame I think so I need to get one of those so that's kind of like a little feature wall um of our bookshelf I didn't want any books on the bookshelf it's weird I kind of wanted to have you know no books on the bookshelf oh yeah the bottom bit here so this came with us from our old flat and it just holds our throws for the sofa and that guys is the living room tour so I know I got a lot of you guys wanted to know what we had in the living room kind of like the decor which is really sweet so 
I just thought I'd show you what we've done over the last couple of months. So yeah, this is where we chill and hang out, <laughs> which is just really nice. I think it's a nice space. It is very relaxing. It's not overly cluttered, which is what I wanted to achieve from it. As I said, the light comes through really nicely from those windows. So it's just a nice space, a nice light space. And I think that's pretty much it in terms of deco. I'm not going to be adding anything else to this section. I kind of wanted to keep it very, as minimal as possible, um, but still cozy. I didn't want it to have that kind of, um, you know, very clinical vibe. I wanted it to feel still like a home and still lived in, but not overly cluttered. So I think we've managed to achieve that. So let me know what you guys think and if you enjoyed the living room tour. I will be doing a bedroom slash closet tour for you at some point. Um, but I just wanted to get this one done for you first. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourite pieces are. And if you'd like to know anything else, I'll be very happy to answer your questions. I hope you enjoyed it guys and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.